Right. Big Bang, Birth of the Universe. How did we get here? We're going to explain that today in Coffee Physics. It's not coffee. <laughs> Drink it. <laughs> right. We've seen this picture a million times and uh, maybe indicate where it is. So we are, I guess, here. Yeah. You go back in time, and there is the Big Bang. Damn it. I didn't want to do that. Mm. There we go. There's the Big Bang there, and we've got Birth of the Universe, which is there. Okay? And there to there is 13.8 um, billion years. Right? No. Sorry. Uh, two things that are wrong, two things that don't make sense, right, to the average Joe, which is me, okay, not a physicist, okay, a bit of an amateur physicist, I'd say, scientist. Um, I actually have a degree in science, it's computer science. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, so the crack is, right, is why, why, are we having, uh, why are we having something which suddenly stops, as in going backwards? Why? Right now, y okay, GR. So you know the guy with the pipe and the tongue. He sticks his tongue out, doesn't he? Um, <laughs> uh, not relevant. <laughs> um, why is it? Why is it um, that um, that becomes this? Right. And I think if Einstein saw that, and I don't mean seen these pictures because it was after he um, moved on. And um, why is it that I, I think he would be no chance? Sorry, mate, you've got it wrong. Uh, when I wrote my theories, this wasn't it. You're stupid. Um, probably didn't use those terms, but there you go. Um, why do I think it's right? Okay, number one, right? Why is it stupid? Number one, right? Think about this. Um, I understand the scientific method, right? You come up with a hypothesis, you try and test it and stuff like that, and, and, and you know, like you're verifying it with facts, you're trying to make it fit with observations, stuff like that, right? Number one, right? Just so everybody knows, nobody was there. Nobody was there with their iPhones taking pictures of the Big Bang and this expansions. Nobody was there, okay? This is 13, apparently, 13.8 billion years ago. I think iPhones weren't invented then. <laughs> but you couldn't physically be there because we're here, right? Here, okay? And that's the human lifespan. Let me get something microscopic. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, age of the Earth, 4.5, 4 4.6 billion years. Right, that, that there, 13.8 billion years. So I would say 4.5 is around about here somewhere, yes? Yeah. But they've got development of galaxies and planets, etc. Okay, fine. Yeah? So the planet's there, right? Nothing, nothing here, absolutely nothing. Then we have everything in, like, that little bit there. That's going from nothing to everything. And apparently this was, like, you know... 10 to the minus something seconds right so we're going from nothing to like everything in in under a second or something ridiculous right how can you cre that doesn't make sense now i get it it's a theory it's uh was it expansion isn't it in, in inflation theory that's the one inflation theory so you're going from something which is smaller than a pixel on this phone yeah to everything that you can see plus all that stuff out there right the stars and the planets and everything and you know you see these pictures of the universe let's let's do uh what is it the universe galaxy galaxy clusters is it galaxy clusters there's a picture that people bandy around and i don't know you can see pictures here can't you these pictures of the universe uh, large, large scale, it's a large scale, that's it, large scale structure, I can see the picture there. 
and we've got this thing which is filaments and stuff thing you know we've got uh, oh what's one that there it's it galaxy clusters large scale right and it, oh they put that on there. yeah you got this thing here right <clears throat> this thing right all of these dots are galaxies right <laughs> you know not stars galaxies look see picture galaxies galaxies are bloody big right <laughs> Bigger than this coffee cup, <laughs> bigger than the earth, bigger than the planet, right? Last time you went on an aeroplane that took hours to get to somewhere, you know, wherever, right? Yeah, well, you take a plane to the edge of the galaxy, you're still on it billions of years later. <laughs> you know, it's not just a couple of hours, right? All came less than a second. I don't think so. Sorry. How? There's an inflaton. It's a particle which now doesn't exist, interesting and convenient, uh, which, which expanded the universe to this size. What's more likely? Right, so we've got the birth of the universe, okay? And I can, I can accept, right? I can accept, uh, it's this one, isn't it? I can accept um, that, because GR is saying, basically, mass that's, if it's more dense, right, like, you have the black holes, right? Matter's dense inside a black hole. Distorts time, distorts space time, doesn't it? Yeah? But we're kind of inside that thing. So we're seeing this distortion, aren't we? Yeah? And when we're looking with our telescopes and JWST and all this and the event horizon, we're looking back in time and it's time that's been distorted by the uh, the density, the the... the, the compactness if you like of space and so we are saying it's 13.8 billion years but what's a year you know if the gravity's altered the way that time works in the early universe then what's a year you know a year now back then was a billion years or something do you know what i mean so what we're really doing when we're looking back at this stuff right is we're actually looking down that funnel which is um the distortion of space-time because of general relativity yeah just like the black hole thing isn't it where um, the there is a distortion of space-time right so I've actually constructed something right which I think is more likely so this is a, uh, uh, a graphic that I've done right <laughs> And uh, it, it just keeps replaying. But basically, you're talking about Big Bang cosmology. And you can see that it's the same sort of thing, isn't it? That funnel-shaped thing that you see in the other diagram. But the way I think it works is you see how you, you're looking at it through the telescope. But if you actually could see it sideways on, the timeline sideways on, look at what it's doing. It's actually infinitely large, isn't it? The, the, distant, the, 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 the temporal distance, if you like, to, uh, to the end of time is infinitely large but because it's distorted we're getting this truncation for us when we're looking out we're getting this truncation we're looking at the the, the center of this picture here just stop it so this this picture here this is the same thing but we're looking at it this way instead of side on and that there there that is the birth of the universe type scenario right which is at the center right and that's what we're looking at when we look at telescopes but if you go to the side on one it goes back forever because if we could get outside of our space-time continuum that's the kind of thing we'd see the universe didn't start 13.8 billion years ago it started in the infinite past it's just that we can't see because of the way that time works general relativity it's distorting it isn't it so from our perspective it had a beginning right but in actual fact that's because of the way that we perceive time but it wasn't linear it was exponential effectively right and, ex and an exponent has an asymptote uh, let me just show you um, uh, it's a reciprocal not an exponential reciprocal graph there we go <coughs> reciprocal graph that one <coughs> really um 
You can't see that, can you? Mm. Need it to be bigger. <coughs> can I click on it? No, I can't. Let me just uh, zoom in like this, and then you can. No, you can't see it. Damn it! Ooh, just about there. Can you see how the lines curl like that? Right, what I'm, what I'm showing you here, which isn't working very well because of the way that uh, it's... Let me just try and make it bigger. Can you? Yeah, you can see the curly lines now, I'm looking at the picture. Right, you got a curly line here that goes around that way, and then there's another one at the top of the picture. Mm. Right, this one, right, that's the for the positive x this is 1 over x y equals 1 over x that's the positive one and then you got this one which is the negative one and crucially that that line there that's the x axis right that's what's called an asymptote that's where it's undefined you got a division by zero okay which is undefined okay right it you, you can pick any value on that line and it, it it's 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 effectively infinity but because you get the positive infinity that way and a negative infinity that way then you say it's undefined but like for instance if it's a very 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 small number uh, x uh, if y is a very small number x is a very big number yeah 1 over 10,000 is 1 ten thousandth which is very small okay and it works the other way as well because um, if y is a uh, very big number, then something equals ten thousand, and of course, that would be uh, one, you know, point zero 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 one or something like that. So you get the asymptote that way as well. You see this line, the vertical line as well, right? That's mathematics. That's a reciprocal, right? <clears throat> now, I actually don't know. Honestly, I don't know the actual mathematics of how that's supposed to work in terms of the the way that it works. But to me, the the thing that we're looking back at when we're looking down that funnel of time, if you like, we're actually staring down that asymptote. You know, what we see looks to us like it's the, the beginning, but that's because we can't see it properly. So did the universe have a definite beginning? Yes. When was it? in the infinite past okay no um, inflatron massive inflation very very quick no because it didn't happen like that because it happened over you know trillions of years it expanded over trillions of years very 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 slowly but because of the way that light works and because of the way GR works we can't pick that up so that time that they're saying 13.8 billion years is actually meaningless it's not the time it's time if it was linear all the way through to the beginning of the the, the universe the beginning of time <laughs> you know um, so ha what happened this is the thing what happened before the beginning of the before the birth of the universe well nothing because the universe was infinitely old it never had a beginning in in a temporal sense right from our perspective it never had a beginning right but it did because it was in the infinite past you know, if we had a time machine and we went back into, we, we got, we had a, a time machine that got out of the universe and went to eternity, we would be witnessing it getting smaller and smaller and smaller and it just gets slower and slower and slower, but it never actually get to that point where it was born because it just carry on going. That's what the infinity means. So, how old is the universe? 13.8 billion years? No. The reason why it's thirteen, why why physicists say thirteen point eight billion years, is because that's how, if we measured it, now, that's what we would see. But the reality is that they're not thinking in terms of eternity, if you like. They're not thinking in terms of being outside the universe. And if it was outside of this this universe and this time continuum, it would be in born in the infinite past. So did it have a beginning? Yes and no. Okay. Yes. For us, inside this universe, yes, it had a beginning, right? But if you were outside of this model and, and system, outside of our universe, effectively, then no, it didn't have a beginning. There was nothing, nothing that actually kicked it off because it was actually born in the infinite past. So there you go. I've now explained why the universe 
Uh, what happened before the universe? Nothing, because it never had anything. Because it was—it's always been here. The exist—it's always existed, in that sense. That doesn't make sense at all, does it? But there you go. That's what I'm going with. <laughs> Comments, please. Uh, like and subscribe. Or something. I don't know. If you don't like it, fine. And if you don't describe it, I don't care. You know, because I think the idea is you subscribe. So if I do a new video, then you get a, a thing and the notification thing, don't you? But I'm not trying to profit from this at all. I'm just doing it because um, I find it interesting and I just want to share it. And if you don't like and subscribe, well, fine. Don't do it. 